Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Good morning to all of the students, to the teachers, to the parents of Casey High, uh, and welcome to a new year. Uh, the year 2021-22 has begun. Today is July 22nd, the first day of school. And I would like to say welcome back to our returning students, teachers, staff, and parents, but also a special welcome to all of the new students and teachers and parents, and a kind request, anyone uh, who is returning, all the students, all the teachers, please make sure that all of our new students and teachers feel welcome, uh, reach out to them, introduce yourself, make them feel welcome, Tell them a little bit about yourselves and about KC and how we do learning at KC High and make sure that everybody is really comfortable and safe and happy to be part of the KC community. So I know you'll do that and thanks in advance for reaching out to the new students and to the new teachers. Um, the big question that everybody wants to ask and everybody has been asking me is when will in-person classes resume? Everybody wants to get back into the classroom, wants to get back onto campus. I hear this from students, from parents, from teachers, etc. So honestly, we do not know exactly when we will be allowed to return, but we have two promises for you. One of them is, as soon as we're allowed to return to classrooms, we will be ready and we will resume in-person school. And of course, the other promise is, the classrooms, the campuses, the uh, learning activities will be as safe as possible. We continue to disinfect, to sterilize, to make sure the campuses are clean, and we're making sure the campuses are going to be sparkling clean, and we have all the safety protocols in place, and all of our teachers and staff will be vaccinated. So we will return as soon as possible, and when we return, the campuses will be as safe as possible. That's both the OP campus, Olympia Panache in Navalur, and the Ranjit Road campus, the RR campus in Kotopuram. We're gonna make sure that both these campuses are open and safe as soon as possible. Uh, where are we now? As you know, the situation continues to improve in Chennai, in Tamil Nadu, in India. So let's hope that it continues to improve. As of now, we're hoping that we can bring teachers back to work in August and maybe students will be ready to return in September. Of course, that can change. Perhaps it will be earlier, perhaps it will be later. We have to wait for the government authorities to tell us that we can resume uh, in-person schooling. We are monitoring the situation closely, but as you know, the situation changes week by week. Let's hope it continues to improve and we'll be back to school before too long. Uh, remember, safety first. We as a school community want to make sure that our school is safe, so we ask everybody in the school community to remember the three W's, wash your hands frequently, and if you need to go out, remember to wear a mask and to watch your distance. That means keeping two meters away from everybody. Try to limit your uh, outgoings, limit your outings into public to as few as possible, to only what is necessary, and be safe when you have to go out. We encourage all adults to get vaccinated. Um, all of our teachers and staff are getting vaccinated. We would like everybody in the school community to be community to be vaccinated as soon as possible and as I've said already teachers and staff will be vaccinated before they meet students. Uh, a few tips about what we're doing this blended learning program that we developed and designed last year. What is blended learning? Remember blended learning means it's a blend or a combination of both online learning and offline learning. It's also a combination of synchronous classes when we all meet together and asynchronous learning activities. When students and learners do independent learning activities that have been designed by the teachers. So the model is basically this. You come together for your synchronous online classes. 
you participate, you ask questions, you listen to the teachers, and you learn about what you're supposed to be doing during the offline and asynchronous activities. And then the combination of the online synchronous classes where you meet with your friends and meet with your teachers, and then the offline asynchronous activities where you do a lot of independent learning is what makes our blended learning program. So please remember that and ask yourself, how can I be successful in this blended learning model? Well, I'm going to give you three strategies or principles that I think are very important in order for you to be successful. So what are these three essential practices? First, communicate with your teachers. Um, no matter what age you are, and if you're very young, your parents will have to be involved as well, of course, it is essential that you communicate with your teachers, that you participate in the online classes, that you speak up, that you ask questions, that you answer questions, and especially if you have a doubt or if you need something to become more clear, that you ask questions of your teachers, communicate with them, and let them know what you're learning and what you're thinking. Two, please do give your best efforts to complete the offline asynchronous activities. School is much more than the online learning. During the online learning, you will learn about what you're supposed to do offline and in between classes. And during those times, it's essential that you give your best efforts to complete your work. I know you're going to do it, but it's a good reminder anyway. And three, please do continue to read, to write, and to work with numbers. Um, those of you who are old enough, you should write a journal. Reading is essential for everybody. Read lots of books. If you're very young, your parents will read with you. And we know that mathematics has been a challenging subject during this uh, online learning. So do practice your number work and practice your maths every day. Okay, we're all in this together. I know that you are all looking forward to getting back to class and to being with your friends and teachers. So I'm going to wrap it up and sign off here. Just remember, school works best when we all learn together, when we communicate with each other frequently, when we talk to each other about what we're learning, because learning is social and learning is fun. So I wish all of you a great year ahead and especially that you get off to a good start in these first few weeks with the blended learning program. I'll be seeing you weekly during announcements and assemblies and have a great week ahead and thanks for listening.